I was boxing the blade and head off him, kicking the blade and leg off him. You will show you do it to close the distance. This is not over. Conor McGregor, the infamous and divisive MMA fighter, shattered his leg in the first round of UFC 264 on July 10th, and the horrible injury has everyone wondering about the star, karma, and the fighter's future in the sport. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how some of the pros reacted to this insane moment, where you can literally see McGregor's leg and foot bend completely the opposite direction they're supposed to go. Let us know what you think of the incident down below. We would love to hear your thoughts. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. McGregor vs. Dustin Poirier The expectation leading into the UFC 264 main event was that the animosity between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier would come to an end. Instead, McGregor suffered a devastating leg injury at the end of the first round inside the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, leaving fans disappointed. Before the brutal climax, Poirier had already won the fight by getting it to the ground and overwhelming McGregor with punching on the mat. Despite this, McGregor's strong start and the devastating injury will give him and his supporters plenty of reasons to try to forget about the TKO loss and pursue a fourth fight with Poirier in the future. After the bout, McGregor took verbal jabs at Poirier and his family, earning the ire of many, including former and current UFC athletes. In his first message since losing to Dustin Poirier at UFC 2 264 last night, Conor McGregor channeled Tony Montana from Scarface. When the Irishman suffered a strange and terrifying leg break while moving back into the cage, doctors were forced to stop the action between the rounds, and he lost the trilogy bout. And following the decision, the Irishman didn't appear interested in calming down, firing a verbal volley at Poirier after asking that Bruce Buffer declare the bout a doctor's stoppage. He took to social media this morning invoking Al Pacino's wicked Scarface character and telling his 41 million Instagram followers that you need people like me, beside a shot of him being stretchered out of the T-Mobile arena. In the immediate aftermath of the fight, McGregor made some horrible remarks about Poirier and his wife Jolie, giving her a vulgar name in his post-fight interview with Joe Rogan. Poirier vowed to fight McGregor a fourth time, even agreeing to a street battle on the Las Vegas Strip if the Irishman offered it. Fans were particularly outraged when McGregor repeated his allegation that Poirier's wife Jolie had slid into his DMs, adding, Your wife is in my DMs. Hey baby, hit me back. I'll chat to you later on. I'll be at the after party. The Win Nightclub. You look in bits, you ho. At the post-fight press conference, Poirier told the reporters, We're going to fight again, whether it's in the octagon or on the sidewalk. Pro's reaction to McGregor loss and injury. When McGregor entered the ring, he immediately applied kicking pressure to Poirier. Before the action shifted against the cage, Poirier managed to tag McGregor a couple times. McGregor attempted to encircle Poirier in a guillotine team, but Poirier slid out and climbed on top, where the two clashed head-to-head -head elbows. As you can imagine, this insane finish that no one saw coming had plenty of fellow professionals taking to Twitter to share their thoughts on the entire situation, or simply to share their snap reaction. Alan Juban, a retired professional mixed martial artist from the United States who competed in the welterweight division, tweeted out, broken ankle, quickly following the live incident. Alex Volkanovsky, the current UFC featherweight champion and Australian professional professional mixed martial artist and is currently signed to the Ultimate Fighting Championship, also took to Twitter to share his thoughts, writing, he broke his damn leg. Leah Letson, another fellow professional MMA star, took to Twitter to share a series of tweets about the event, including, gah, his leg is broken. Is this the end of the notorious MMA hype train? Following this, she wrote, it's like a train wreck. I just can't look away. Finally, she tweeted out, what a bizarre way to break your leg. Yet another MMA star took to Twitter specifically to share his thoughts. We're talking about Johnny Bone. Jones, an American MMA and UFC professional. He wrote on his Twitter a series of tweets beginning with, a lot on the line for my man Connor, tweeting this out before the insane leg break. He then wrote, what a freaking round, followed by, man, I wonder if he will ever fight again after this. Heal up champ, this is terrible. Continuing the trend of pros commentating on the McGregor and Poirier match, Bilal Muhammad, an MMA fighter from the United States who is presently competing in the welterweight division of the UFC, wrote, don't talk about a man's wife, that's karma. Seemingly on Poirier 
Saturday's side following the continued trash talk McGregor had been throwing his opponent's way, including talks of his wife, clearly trying to get in his head before the match, which can see didn't end up going to plan. Samuel William Alvey is an American professional mixed martial artist who competes in the Ultimate Fighting Championship's light heavyweight division. He took to his Twitter account to write, he broke it, fell back, and never tapped or stopped fighting. Different kind of tough right there, showing his support for legend Conor McGregor and just how tough this pro fighter really is. Khabib Nurmagomedov, who isn't a pro fighter but a pro reporter for the UFC and MMA community, took to his Twitter to write, good always defeats evil. Very happy for Dustin Poirier. I hope you will get the belt at the end of the year, clearly showing his support for Dustin Poirier. Legend and pro Floyd Mayweather also shared a photo with a caption to Twitter regarding the match, showing a photo of his betting receipt and thanking Dustin Poirier for getting him paid. Thanks for getting me paid, he wrote. Next up, Daniel Ryan Cormier, a retired professional mixed martial artist and amateur wrestler from the United States, is a former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. He took to his Twitter account and social media to say, crazy to think that at the end of the weigh-in, Connor said he would be taken out on a stretcher, and now Connor gets taken out on a stretcher. Man, this game we play is so crazy. Hats off to the diamond of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier. Also, legend Manny Pacquiao, a very well-known professional boxer and now a politician in the Philippines, shared his thoughts on social media, writing, congrats to Dustin Poirier on winning the trilogy. Tough injury for Conor McGregor, but he'll be back. Finally, Michael Chiesa, a professional mixed martial artist and sports analyst from the United States who currently fights in the UFC welterweight division, took to his Twitter also to share his thoughts and words following the match. He wrote, world-class fighter, world-class father, world-class human being. He can do it all. Congrats, Dustin Poirier. History of Poirier and McGregor. So, as you have already probably gathered, this isn't the first time the pair met in the ring. The first fight took place in 2014, and after the normal McGregor trash talk and shenanigans, they stepped into the ring at featherweight. The battle on Saturday will be at lightweight, but it won't take long to see this, as McGregor hurts Poirier with a left and then follows up with more hammer fists to get the stoppage from referee Herb Dean in under two minutes. The second one was as dramatic, albeit a little less thrilling. Poirier even the score with a second round TKO at Fight Island in Abu Dhabi in January. In this bout, McGregor was significantly less obnoxious, and they actually exchanged gloves before the fight. However, McGregor was weakened by Poirier's calf kicks, which eventually wore him down. Halfway through the second round, a nasty short at the conclusion was enough to finish it. As you can tell, Poirier appears to come off as the better fighter, now winning the third match between the iconic pairing. Even though he clearly showed his greatness in beating this UFC legend in a trilogy fight, many still regard McGregor as a better fighter over Poirier. McGregor has a huge legacy and brand attached to his name. We have all heard his name before, even if you don't watch UFC at all. However, Poirier is a different story. Yes, he is a great fighter, and he has clearly proven this time and time again. However, he still does not receive the celebrity status like McGregor. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about the recent trilogy match between iconic Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier. There's no doubt that many across the globe were tuning in for this match, and plenty of people did not expect it to turn out this way. It is unfortunate for McGregor, but it appears as though he wants to make a speedy recovery so he can get back into the ring with Poirier for a fourth bout. Do you think Dustin Poirier is the better fighter? Who do you think would win the fourth match between the two? We would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.